Hello guys, good evening, happy Monday. Welcome back to another vlog. Today was a boring computer work day for me. So I'm starting the vlog later in the day. I just had dinner a little while ago, took a shower. I have my humidifier going in my bedroom with the door shut. That way it can get nice and humid and steamy in there by the time I'm ready to go to bed. I got that this past week from Amazon and it's been working pretty well so far. I'll link the one that I got down below. I tried to get like the one that was the least expensive, but also had like the best reviews. I'm going to just kind of rough dry my hair a little bit to get most of the moisture out. And then I'm gonna do like the robe belt overnight heatless curls. I'm just gonna do like low heat, but high speed. That way I'm putting as little heat as possible, but just to like get the moisture out. So I just split my hair down the middle or like if you typically prefer a side part, you know, just part it wherever you normally would, but make sure that you just pull all your hair forward and then you can just take, I've seen people do this with leggings. I know they make like an actual product now, but this is just like a belt from a robe and I like this because it's like a fleecy kind of material so it's really soft and it's not gonna like create too much friction on my hair and then I just take a little piece I wrap it around the belt and then I grab a little bit more hair add it to that first piece and then wrap that around and then just keep repeating the same thing just keep adding hair as you go and just keep twisting and I try to keep it like relatively neat so that way it stays while I'm sleeping and try to like keep it kind of tight and close to your head because otherwise it'll get like all loose and unraveled and then your curls won't come out right. It'll be kind of a mess in the morning. And then once I'm like all out of hair, I just keep wrapping all the way down to the bottom. And then I just use a hair tie or a scrunchie, whatever and twist it up that's one side done i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side the smaller the section of hair you're taking is the tighter of a curl you'll get and the bigger the section it'll be looser and you know just more of a wave my main tips when you're doing this still have some moisture in your hair like it is better to have a little bit rather than your hair being like completely bone dry but you don't want it to be too wet because then it'll never dry i just do it at night and then i sleep with them in and then in the morning i'll take them out and i will show you the results all my life since we're 16 i'm never i mean that's a big thing to hear you know i need to be Good morning. I've been up for a couple hours now. I've been editing pretty much from the moment that I woke up this morning and I need to step away. <laughs> take a little break from the computer screen. But I'm about to take my daily vitamins. You guys know I've been on like this health journey, cooking a lot more at home, trying to eat more whole foods, working out consistently every week, drinking more water. And I've talked about how I'm not doing it for like 
weight loss purposes. It's literally just, I'm in my 30s now and I really wanna make sure that I'm prioritizing my health. So part of that has also been taking a multivitamin every day. So I just started taking these last week. These are the essential multivitamins for women 18 plus from Ritual and they are sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I really love how transparent they are. I mean, literally the actual capsules themselves are see-through so you can see exactly what's inside of them. And they're also very transparent about the ingredients in their products and where they source all of their ingredients from. They're vegan, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contain no added sugars. What I really like about them too is that they have a minty flavor. Like some vitamins have that really gross vitamin taste. These don't. They're actually very pleasant to take, especially first thing in the morning. And my favorite thing about them, honestly, is that they have a slow release capsule. So you can take them with or without food. I don't always eat like first thing in the morning. And if I have to take my vitamin with food, sometimes I end up forgetting to take it. I also recently started taking their newest product, the Symbiotic Plus. It's a three-in-one prebiotic, probiotic, and postbiotic designed to support gut, digestive, and immune health. When you sign up for a subscription with Ritual, they will ship your product to you every month. You get free shipping and you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time, no questions asked. So if you've been wanting to start taking vitamins, I highly recommend Ritual. They also make a multivitamin for men's, for people 50 plus, they have a prenatal, a postnatal, vitamins for kids and teens. So they have products to support the health of your entire family. If you'd like to try out Ritual for yourself, they are offering all of my viewers 20% off your first month. So go to ritual.com slash samvay20 and use my code SAMVAY20 to get 20% off your first month. Thank you so much, Ritual, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I am going to make myself a little breakfast, though, because I am starting to get hungry. So I'm going to do some turkey breakfast sausage, eggs, and toast. So I'm going to whip that up, get a little more editing done, and then later this afternoon, I have to work at the salon. I'll be there from about 3 to 8, and that's going to be my whole day. It's <laughs> just a day of work. Nothing exciting. Oh, and by the way, the heatless curls, didn't they come out cute? And my hair is naturally curly, but after I sleep on it, you know, like it just gets a little crazy. So I like doing this style because it makes the curls a little bit more uniform and controlled but even if your hair is naturally straight it will work oh i'm so excited i have a consultation for extensions i'll bring you guys along for that and share more when i go for the appointment because that's not going to be for another couple of weeks so it won't be in this vlog but stay tuned i will be sharing that I've been like back and forth, you know, if you've been watching with my hair because I've just been letting it grow out. This is the longest that it's ever been without any extensions or anything. But I don't have like the fullest, thickest hair in the world. Like, I mean, obviously it, it looks fuller now because it's curly, but this is all the hair in my entire head. And I do like having it long. I would like to leave it to continue growing and just see how long it'll get but I feel like the longer it gets, the thinner it's gonna look. So I was like, oh, do I wanna just cut it shorter? Cause the shorter your hair is, especially if you do like a really blunt cut, then the thicker it's gonna look. Or do I want to continue with the long hair, but maybe just add a little bit of hair extensions just to add fullness, like have them be the same length as my real hair just to make it look a little bit thicker so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it or not but one of my friends down here is a hair extension specialist and she does the beaded wefts which I've never had before and I like I know a little bit about them I've had clients in the past who have had them so I don't know I was asking her about it she was like why don't you just come in for a consultation and we can talk about the options and you know what maintenance and costs and all of that would look like because i've had extensions in the past i've done tape-ins i've done sew-ins clip-ins the halo ones with the string they can be very high maintenance having to constantly like move them up and then like wash days always take forever but i'm thinking if i only have like one row of them 
maybe it won't be bad and if i can get hair that like matches my natural texture so that way like if i go to the beach or something in the summer my hair will air dry and it'll all blend and look natural so yeah i don't know something that i'm just considering but i'm gonna leave for work soon i'm just making myself a quick little green smoothie to bring with me i just put a bunch of baby spinach unsweetened coconut milk I'm gonna add vital proteins collagen powder um i showed you guys a couple vlogs ago that i had bought this to try and a lot of people were asking why <laughs> like what's my goal with taking the collagen honestly nothing specific i just wanted to try it and this is 18 grams of protein in it per serving so i feel like whether the collagen actually does anything has any benefits or not at least i'm getting that extra protein which i do need and i like the fact that it's unflavored i really love doing banana and frozen mango chunks but you know whatever kind of frozen fruit you like but adding banana definitely makes it creamier and richer and it adds a nice sweetness and it'll cover up the taste of any of the greens that you add okay here's my outfit jeans are from target crop top is cotton on orange shirt is also target and it's a recent find i just got it a few days ago i sized up a couple sizes so it would be extra loose and long and i'm really liking the gray with the orange and then i'm wearing my new balance sneakers and then my necklaces are thick chain is anna luisa 1992 necklaces vibe season s is altered state that's what i'm wearing today i am going to grab my stuff and head on out of here it's several hours later it actually ended up being an earlier night than originally anticipated normally when i work closing shifts at the salon i'm there till like 8 8 30 most of the time but tonight everybody was done by 6 30 so i was out of there by 7 came home took benny out had dinner now i'm ready to wash my face and get ready for bed. I'm using the Mario Badescu Gentle Foaming Cleanser. A little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. I used to have so many steps and use so many products. And then a few months ago, I started using just this on its own and my skin has looked great and felt amazing i just love how simple and quick it is and inexpensive so i take a lot of it and I rub it in like a nice thick layer all over my face like a mask down onto my neck and I just let it sit for a little while and just soak into my face. And then once it's like mostly absorbed and it's not like as white, then whatever is left over on the surface, I'll just massage it in and then go to sleep. Which by the way, this is the Nivea cream. You can get this on Amazon. I get it at Target. I know they also have it at Walmart, drugstores. It's pretty easy to find. And this stuff has been around forever you look a little crazy when you're going to bed but it's worth it good morning wow <laughs> that's all i have to say it's 11 a.m i literally just woke up a couple minutes ago i went to bed at like i don't know maybe 10 30 ish 10 30 11 like somewhere around there i felt pretty tired when i went to bed last night but i did not expect to sleep in this late but i woke up and aunt flo came to pay me a visit you know what i'm saying so mm, i'm feeling some cramping I feel bloated clearly my body just needed extra recovery time and rest because i've been feeling kind of sore this week too from my workouts and like i could tell it's been coming the last like week or so i just like 
haven't felt as strong and like as energetic. I have to work at the salon again tonight. So my plan today was to post a video this morning. I edited one yesterday. I was gonna just like get the final touches on there, fill out the description, make the thumbnail, blah, 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 post it today and go work out before I have to go to the salon. But now that it's already so late, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for all that. I'm gonna go take Benny out. He's uh, ringing his little bell on the door, so. That's how I know he really has to go. I'm sorry, you have to go potty outside? I have this bell that I got literally when I got him as a puppy and I use that to potty train him. So whenever he has to go out, he rings the bell to let me know. And that's how I know like, oh, it's, it's an emergency. It's a couple hours later. I got my video up. Didn't end up going to the gym though because it would have just been cutting it too close and the way I'm feeling right now like today I was supposed to be doing squats and like a lot of lower body stuff and oh god mm -mm. my body just feels like especially my lower body everything like in this area and like my hips and thighs and stuff just feel like very weak so I'm gonna give myself the day to rest, let my body, you know, go through its thing. But I'm making it a point to drink extra water today because I know hydrating is very important, especially this time of month. This is what I'm wearing to work. It, I thought was supposed to be warm today, but the temperature seems to be going down. And tonight it's supposed to be like in the low 50s. So just wanted to dress kind of comfy. This flannel is from Boohoo airy leggings and then these cowboy boots are from altered state hoops are from etsy i will link them down below and i just put my hair in a claw clip because it is a tangled hot mess and i just don't feel like dealing with it honestly that's why lately especially like the longer my hair gets i have been choosing to just blow it out smooth because it's so much easier to deal with and like i love my curls don't get me wrong because sometimes I'll get comments that are like, no, just wear your hair natural, embrace the curls. I like to, especially in the summertime when it's really humid and I know I'm going to be like going to the beach a lot and stuff. Because then it just doesn't even make sense. It's not worth it for me to blow it out. But in the winter time, it honestly is just easier because then I can just blow it out and it'll last me several days and I don't have to worry about it it doesn't get all tangled you would think just letting it air dry and wearing it natural would be lower maintenance and easier and it's quite the opposite so my next hair wash day i think i'm just gonna blow it out but anyway i'm gonna leave now i'm doing front desk again and it looks like i'm gonna be there kind of late i'm gonna go to work i'll be back soon okay i'll see you when i get back you stay here like a big boy you should go. Apparently I made it home in perfect timing. I literally just got here and it wasn't raining at all. I came in, took my shoes off, and then all of a sudden I heard it pouring outside. And I still have to take Benny out one more time tonight, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and hopefully it'll lighten up a tiny bit at some point. I'm just gonna heat up some leftovers for dinner. It's 8.43 right now. And I have to go back to the salon tomorrow in the morning to open so <laughs> fun 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 i'm gonna try to get to bed early tonight i'm hoping because i slept in so late today that hopefully my body will be well rested and it won't be too hard getting up in the morning so wish me luck i'll see you in the morning i'm feeling kind of rough not gonna lie still feel half asleep still kind of look half asleep but you know what we're dressed we're ready to go and we're on time so at least there's that my outfit today is very simple but i feel like it's still kind of cute these boots are from h m i got them recently on clearance and this is my first time wearing them so i have a pretty short shift this morning but wish me luck that uh I A, don't spill color or anything on them, and B, that they're comfortable. Plain black leggings. This sweater is also H&M, but it's very, very old. And I just clipped my hair up again because 
it's still a tangled mess, but I am just working till 12 today. So my plan is after I get back from work, I'm gonna go work out, then I'm gonna wash my hair and we'll finally take care of this mess. And of course, right now it's freezing outside, but I think later it's supposed to be in the 60s. So I'm just gonna wear a puffer vest. That's kind of like the perfect in between, like it still keeps you warm, but without being too hot. If it's one of those days where it's like, you know, the temperature's kind of fluctuating. This is also H&M. I will certainly be making myself a coffee as soon as I get there. Wish me luck that it's a good shift and goes by quickly. And I'll see you when I get home. Hello. I'm home now. Oh, I look crazy. I was starting to get a headache, so I had to take my hair out of the clip. And I'm just feeling like very blah and off. And it sucks because at the beginning of January, like the start of the new year, I made a commitment to myself that I was going to continue the good healthy habits that I had been working on for the last like month or so, drinking tons of water, being on top of my good healthy routines, my skincare routine, my workout routine every week. I've been making it a point to go at least three times a week and I was feeling really good with that and I felt like I had my life together and I was feeling so good and healthy and I was taking my vitamins and like everything was just running smoothly and this week I've just felt off and crappy and last week I ended up getting really busy so I only worked out two times so I was like okay this week I'm going to work out an extra day to make up for it so that it all balances out but then this week things got thrown off because I ended up getting my period and I wasn't feeling great and I overslept and I got caught up with work so I ended up missing a day that I wanted to go work out and now I feel like I already was like trying to catch up from last week and now I have to catch up from last week and this week and I know that like this is just unnecessary pressure I'm putting on myself and like I don't have to be perfect and as long as I'm doing my best and moving my body that's the important thing that's all that matters but like even with drinking water every single day consistently for almost two months now I've been drinking two to three of these 40 ounce cups of water no problem but then the last like week or two I have not been hitting my water goals like I'm lucky if I finish one of these a day and then my plan today was gonna be as soon as I get home from work, I wanted to go straight to the gym. I already got my workout leggings on. I was gonna just change my top and put on my sneakers and go. But I just have such a headache right now and I feel so tired. So I'm just going to try and give myself some grace. I'm gonna let myself drink some water. Hopefully that will help with my headache. Maybe I'll take some Excedrin otherwise. And I'm just gonna rest on the couch for a little bit. And like, it's okay to have an off week. And especially considering the fact that I got my period this week, like that's bound to just throw things off. I'm trying to remind, oh. But I'm just trying to remind myself that it's okay to have an off week here and there. As long as you, just continue and don't let it discourage you it will be fine hopefully that's relatable if you're going through something kind of similar right now it doesn't help that i like physically feel gross too like i feel like my hair is crazy and i just feel bloated and crampy and my skin feels kind of blah it's not my best week it's okay it'll get better I'm gonna go rest a little bit and I will catch up with you later and let you know if I ended up making it to the gym or not. I'm going though, I'm gonna go. It's happening, just don't know when, but it's happening. Okay, it's a couple hours later. I ate a little something, I drank water, took Excedrin, still am not feeling the best, but I'm just gonna go 
to the gym. Luckily, I have a gym in my apartment complex, so it's very convenient. I'm gonna just test it out and see how I feel, and if I start to get like dizzy or anything like that, obviously I'm not gonna like overdo it. In that case, I'll just go lighter with the weight or maybe just skip the weights altogether and just like walk on the treadmill or something. Hopefully, like once I start moving and get a little sweat going, I will feel better. By the way, this hoodie that I'm wearing, all hair is good hair with the texture chart. This is from my merch collection. If you didn't know, I have merch. It comes in a few different things, hoodies, shirts, tote bags, phone cases, stuff like that. My merch shop is always linked in the description of every video. So yeah, if you guys like this design and wanna get it, I really like this color too in the hoodie. It's really comfy, but I have my Bluetooth headphones from Amazon. These have been amazing. It makes such a big difference if you are blasting music in your headphones and you can like totally zone out. I don't know. There's something about like me being in the gym and hearing the sound of the weights and the sound of my breathing that just makes me feel so miserable and I'm like, ugh. And it just makes the whole thing like excruciating. But if I'm blasting music and I'm just like going to like the beat of the song, it just like helps pump me up and makes such a difference. If you also don't enjoy going to the gym, highly recommend get some headphones like this because these like completely cover over my entire ear. So it completely muffles any sound in the gym and all you can hear is your music and you can just zone out. Or like if you're doing cardio, I love putting a podcast on or YouTube video or show or something like that and just watching something because then you just get so distracted you forget that you're working out and i feel like it just makes the time go by faster because otherwise it can just feel like it is lasting forever and it can feel so tedious so it's nice to have a distraction but i'll link these headphones they were pretty inexpensive like around 25 dollars i really really like them and they have buttons on the side so you can pause, turn the volume up or down, skip to the next song. So that way, if your phone is like nowhere within reach of you, you can still control what you're listening to. It went way better than I expected. I felt a little weak with some things, but that's to be expected. I'm so tired now though. So I'm gonna give myself a couple minutes to cool down a little bit because there's nothing worse than hopping right in the shower when you're still really hot and sweaty. And then for dinner tonight, I am gonna make salmon with Brussels sprouts and rice. And I have some avocados, so I'll probably have a little bit of that on the side too. I'm very excited. It's gonna be so yummy. months I am going to Vegas for the first time for my best friend Taylor's wedding and I was like you know I don't have a carry-on sized suitcase and I really don't feel like paying extra to check a bag and I also have connecting flights going both ways and I was gonna just bring a bag like I have the base weekender. I really don't feel like carrying that around in the airport. Like I would rather have something that has wheels on it. And ever since I got the weekender bag, I've been wanting to get a base suitcase as well. So I was like, you know what? This trip is the perfect time 
to get one. And I love that it has like the full rotation. It has a lock. The handle is cushioned, which is so nice. Such a nice detail. I just opened this and I was showing you guys the inside and I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> so, but it has one big compartment here, these two smaller compartments. It came with these little bags, like for dirty clothes. And then on this side, it has this section. Then it has another compartment here. And then this part zips up also. So nice. Everything is like so well thought out with all of their products, which is what I really like. Like not only does it look nice and sleek and it's good quality, but it's like very functional. I did pay for it with my own money, not sponsored by them. You guys know that I love the Crime Weekly podcast. They've been sponsored by them, so I used their discount code. It was, I think, just Crime Weekly 15, and I got 15% off. So if you want to use their code, I'm trying to like slowly just have like nicer, higher quality things that will last me a long time. My whole life, pretty much, I've always just got things that were cheaper, more affordable, but you know, then they don't last you as long, so then you have to just replace them, and that doesn't end up being like that cost effective in the long run, so trying to just make upgrades with things slowly where I can. So anyway, I've just been kind of hanging out and taking it easy this morning, had breakfast. I've been watching the newest episodes of Your Honor season two, and now I just got dressed to go to the gym. I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here. I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything really the rest of the weekend, just kind of hanging out at home, just having some me time, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring a portion of this vlog. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code, and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.